Fester two for four with a double in the series. And he cuts on it and miss. Four, strike three. But in the inning, Seton Hall gets a run. Playing almost midway between second and third. Perpendicular to the bases, and there is a base hit. So Allen Roden delivers a two-out single here. There, he's behind two strikes. Lummel needs a good pitch here. A bouncing ball up the middle, tough play, and everybody's gonna be safe, and now the run tries to come home for a second run, and he's gonna be out easily. Ooh, Wagner took a shot off the, I don't know if it was the shoulder, but the ball bounced all the way up into the lower deck over, and there he goes. And it's skied in the air. Shallow left, coming in is the left fielder, and he dropped the ball. McNelly drops the ball, everybody is safe. And the ball gets away and the runners advance. There's interference. That would be an error too, I guess. But. And that hit Nolan Clifford and that will score the run as Clifford chucks the bat. Some big hits. Here's the one, two. And a comebacker up the middle of the base hit. One run is in, they will hold everybody up. Everyone advances 90 feet. Hogan Holigso delivers his second RBI of the weekend and we're tied at two. Put Andrew Meggs, he knows he's gonna get a strike. And he does and lines it into left for a base hit. That's gonna score one. Here comes the second run, the throw to the plate and they're gonna cut him down, he's out. A good throw by McNelly. Cuts down Nolan Clifford. The 0-1 to Hess, and he lines this one into right. It's down for a base hit. This will score two. Hess delivers a two-out knock, and the Blue Jays have scored five in the second. And lead it five to two, and Allen Roden is the ninth man to bat in the inning, and that pitch bounces in. Hess off to second. Throw is late. He had a called third strike at the knees coming, and it was called ball three, and then a walk ensued. Called strike three, he paints the outside corner. Fifth inning, not in the third. And this one's hitting the air towards center. A long run for Saylor, still on the run, and with his back to the infield, makes the catch to retire the side. Big defensive play by Saylors as Hack takes him deep. But Saylors, the over the shoulder catch, Ends the end. three, and they got him on five hits. Wagner with a towering pop-up, foul ground, and over by the rail, and he held on. Oh my, Grober reaching over the railing and then riding the railing. Holds on to the ball, a tremendous play by Steve Grober. Hey, you can uh, start to use the red ink. We saw a great play end the top of the inning on the drive by Hack to deep center and Sailor's Station for Sylvester is struck out on a sack bunt. He's going to line it right to Clifford. As D'Amico Peluso struck out looking his first time. He looks to bunt here and a nice bunt. It's going to be a tough play. Throw to first is high and down the right side. Clifford on his way to third and he'll be stopped there. Throw goes to second and in time, Peluso is out. So the Blue Jays will have a runner at third with one out in a 5-5 ball. Pirates scored three in that third inning, but two were left in scoring position. Swing and a miss here in the strikeout for Bergstrom. He's out of 11 trips to the plate, or 11 at bats officially. And he's gonna knock another base hit into right. One hopper into the glove of Wentworth, and a leadoff single for the Blue Jays here in the fifth inning. One and two in this ballpark this season. There's a base hit to lead things off as Nolan Clifford slices it the other way into left. So Clifford with his fourth one in the fourth. Oh, that's right. He did get, that's right. That was I was first. looking back at the season stat. Okay. 
And then, whoa, it's going to get hit by this pitch. He, that's a sacrifice. He sacrificed himself. <laughs> His body. There you go. That's the best kind of sacrifice if you don't get hurt because you get to reach two. 3-2, and there's an RBI hit into left. Clifford will score, and the Jays lead 6-5. Second RBI for Megs this afternoon, his fourth of the series. And he hung a slider. Little cement mixer slider that stayed right. It's off the bag! Hinder his Scored! Grace goes to third. The nuttiness continues. And with nine minutes of time, Popped up into left, and it's not going to be very deep, but let's see. McNelly playing the wind, battling it. They'll tag up Grace, and he will score without a throw. Eight to seven, Blue Jays lead. Peluso with a sack fly RBI, a little bit wind aided because McNelly didn't have a chance to get off a throw. Wow, Un afternoon in addition to all the hits. Here's a ground ball to short. They'll come home with the play. And they got him. Taylor made ground ball right at Clifford. Count pitch. Got him. Let's go, baby. But in Let's the go. inning, the Pirates retake the lead. Two runs on just one hit. A couple of walks and a hit batter. All four. And here comes Roden with the on a run. The 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and hit towards center. Back on it is Hack. Still racing, and it's over his head. The runners are one right after the other. Here comes the tying run. Here comes the lead run. And the lead run is thrown out. They were right on each other's heels. And Hess is thrown out right after Meg slid in in front of him. We are tied at nine. Both guys, based on where the ball was hit, Meg's got the late jump because he wasn't sure if it was going to be caught. Hess was right on his heels. And Hack is able to uncork one back to the infield and they get the second runner. It's almost unbelievable, John. We've seen so much momentum going back and forth. We almost had more. Includes Oklahoma State, Florida, North Carolina. One ball, two strikes, and he got him swinging. Good pitch in on the hands. And D'Amico goes down on strikes. That's a big first out. Wall behind home plate here at TD Ameritrade. Hernandez had one as well. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Boy, he did not give him anything in the strike zone. And Steve Grober completely fooled and now two away.